Welcome back everybody. Today I wanted to talk about DRAM pricing and how it has skyrocketed extremely high in price over the last few months. Let's get into it. So RAM has gone sky high and it's mostly because of the demand for AI. There are, I mean, that that's what the industry is saying anyway, or at least from what I can tell. So the pricing for 32 gigs of RAM hovered was hovering around $110, maybe 120 bucks or something until about January 2025, then it started to creep up just a little bit, and then as soon as October hit, that was D-Day for RAM pricing. It skyrocketed, and you can see these prices are just astronomical. The 64 gig kits went from $200 to $800, or up here, these DDR5 kits, they went from around $100 to over $400. We're talking about quadrupling are tripling in price for just about every type of RAM and quadrupling in price for a lot of these things. And I wanted to kind of dig in what people were saying about this. So here's an article. It's written by a PC Gamer. Talks about memory crisis and sky-high DRAM prices could run past 2028. So there are three major memory manufacturers. There's SK Hynix, there's Samsung, and there's Micron. So this article says, brace yourselves for the latest update of the memory supply crisis. It's not good news. Samsung and SK Hynix, who are together responsible for 70% of the DRAM market, have signaled their reluctance and inability to sufficiently expand memory production. These chips come from these three major manufacturers. And they haven't had a great track record. If you take a look at this, back in uh, the early 2000s, there was a DRAM price fixing scandal. So in 2002, they were, um, between 2002 and 2005, um, these companies were fined more than 331, 331 million euros for a cartel-like operation that operated back in 2002. <clears throat> Same thing happened in 20, 2017 or 2018. But I don't think anybody was uh, convicted in this particular one. Um, but it the same thing happened. Retail prices for consumer PC RAM kits doubled as upstream DRAM costs increase, and they flowed through the retail channel. So this has happened more than once. So the issue now is supply and demand, kind of. So normally when demand increases exponentially, they should increase supply. But they're not really thinking about that. So rather than rapidly expanding facilities, they say, we will pursue a strategy of maintaining long-term profitability. So these companies are raking, they're raking in so much cash right now, hand over fist. They're just pulling in the money because AI data centers are spending billions and billions of dollars. Companies like Samsung, why would they even sell it to consumers if they can sell it to data centers for 10 times that price or more? And it's in their benefit to actually increase this. So they they say we have a plan to in, invest approximately 30% of our sales and facilities in 2026 and accelerate the transition to a 1C DRAM, but it will be difficult to resolve the supply shortage. So one of the things that they're doing is they're not, they could increase RAM production um, very rapidly. And they've done that before. And generally, generally uh, during COVID that happened, right? They, people started buying PCs, they, people started buying home setups, and the prices skyrocketed initially, but then they ramped up the production, and then things fell off. After everyone had their setup, people stopped buying these components, and everything got really, really cheap really, really fast. So they're, they want to avoid that. What if AI just falls out? They're trying to save themselves, but at the same time, they're not worried about making a few extra bucks on the side. And companies like Dell are also increasing their prices. Dell preps massive price hike up to 30%, citing memory prices out of control. This is from Tom's Hardware. DRAM shortages being felt across the computing industry are soon coming to impact the corporate world. So it talks about um, everything going up in price. Beginning this Wednesday, Dell Pro and Pro Max laptops and desktops with 32 gigs of RAM will become $130 to $230 more expensive. This is a very real price hike. Prices for computers are going to be uh, much more expensive. 
probably through 2028. How much more? I'm not sure. Hopefully, they're not as bad as they are now. Hopefully, it goes back down. But, I mean, when prices go up, you it's really, really tough for them to come back down. I'm hoping it's not four times as expensive, but I'm sitting on some 32 gigs of DDR4 memory right now, and I'm probably going to be sticking with it for quite some time at this point. That's all I really wanted to have a conversation about. I wanted to talk about the DRAM prices. Is it Has it affected you? Is it going to affect you? Uh, let me know if it's going to impact you or if you change your your uh, the way you're doing things. A lot of times bundles at this point work really well where you have um, maybe a motherboard in memory or you have a CPU and you have memory. Those bundles can still be had for cheaper, but it's getting harder to find deals that are new um, or maybe check out the used market like I was talking about. Um, GPUs are also getting more expensive. NVIDIA, who supplies like 91% of the GPU market, um, they stopped sending uh, DRAM chips with their GPUs. And costs are going to increase for GPUs as well. So things are looking like it's going to get a little bit more expensive coming into 2026 in terms of just hardware for computers. So we'll keep an eye on it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>